The first thing I'm going to show you how to do is how to disable some of the pre-installed apps that come with your note. So we're going to use a one finger swipe to bring down your, your toggles and your menu and you're going to click on this button right here which is your setup. And once you go into settings you're going to click on the magnifying glass. And this is the fastest way to find anything that you need in the settings. I'm going to type app and, and what will happen is I'll get to application manager. I'll choose application manager and then what you're going to do is you're going to look for the programs that you want to disable. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to look for uh, some uh, applications. I'm going to choose SD card running and then I'm going to go all the way up to all. All is going to include every application that's been downloaded, even those applications that are pre-installed. And I'm going to look for some of the AT&T apps. So for example, I don't use AT&T Family, so I'm going to tap that. And then notice how you have an option here that says Turn Off. I'm going to tap Turn Off, and I'm going to say OK. Now, what you'll, what you'll not see now going forward, now that I've done this, and let me go back to it, um, and we'll go back all the way to all of them. What you'll notice is that in the disabled area, now I have the family map has been disabled. That means you're not going to get any more updates. It's going to pretty much end up, um, uh, dis it will disappear from your screen as well. Um, you won't uninstall the original version of it that came pre-installed, but you won't have to worry about updates. It's, it's going to take up less space because it, it never will get updated. So I'm going to go through and look for other things like I don't use the at t Mail, so I'll go here and I'll choose Turn Off. I'll say OK. And then I'll go back, and then I'll go um, AT&T Navigator. I don't use that. I like uh, I use Google. I'll turn that off, and then I'll go back, and I'll look at continue uh, to see different things that are on here, like AT&T Ready to Go. Turn that off. Say OK, and go back, and continue to find different applications that are unnecessary. Again, once you do that, you'll find all those in this area, and you could always click on it and then turn them on. But this is a quick way to remove bloatware or applications that are showing up that came pre-installed on your Note 4.